Good afternoon, UDA. I'm McKenna Mosser. And I'm Alex Laskowski. Reporting for Trojan News Network. Today's joke of the day is, why did the meatballs tell the spaghetti to go to sleep? I don't know why. It was pasta bedtime. Do you have a joke for joke of the day? Well, we want to hear your best joke. Use the QR code on the screen to submit yours. Let's see what shout outs we have going out to our staff and students today. Today, Upper Dolphin Area High School would like to shout out to our secretaries, Becky Mosser, Chris Paul, and Marcia Shell. These ladies are the heart and soul of our school and are always welcoming students and staff with a smile. Their rel relentless efforts to keep our school running without issues is greatly appreciated by both students and staff. Thanks to everyone who submitted shout outs. If you know of someone that deserves a shout out, use the QR code on the screen to submit one. This week we are running the drawings for the third marking period discovery incentive program. Today's drawing is for work results. If you earn distinguished honor roll or honors during marking period three, you've been entered for a random drawing to win your choice of several prizes. Let's check the wheel out and see who's the lucky winner. Congratulations, you're a winner! Congratulations to Kevin Wynn. You will receive an email from Mrs. Walsh Words. Please respond to the email with the prize you would like. If you don't respond in 48 hours, a new name will be selected. The athletic department is selling old apparel in the athletic office. There are football jerseys and helmets, basketball uniforms, soccer bags, and more. This is a great way to show our UDA spirit in the student sections. Stop by the athletic office now. The class of 2026 is currently selling R&K sandwiches and subs. The orders and money are due by May 3rd for a May 16th delivery. Please consider purchasing from your favorite freshman. Delicious pretzel sandwiches are $6 and subs are $7. Remember freshmen, the highest sales get a free lunch with a friend. Sell those sandwiches so you get your account paid for some fun events later. The more you sell, the more fun you will have down the road. If you need a ride on the activity bus, remember to sign up by 12.30 p.m. Congratulations to Casey Madden for achieving Artist of the Week with her ink wash piece. Looks great. Junior and senior, juniors and seniors, prom is almost here. Have you picked up your post-prom permission sleep? for you and your prom guests from the office yet? There will be the bull riding inflatable, an obstacle course inflatable, and axe throwing inflatable, a mentalist who will challenge your thinking skills, card and board games, cornhole, movies, just dance, food and prizes. Something fun for everyone. Permission slips are due to the office by April 27th. Come join in on the fun. Varsity jacket order forms are now available in the athletic office for any athlete that lettered this past year or in previous years. Please stop by the athletic office and see Mrs. Shell to see if you qualify and to pick up the form. Powder Puff is this Friday. Make sure you come out and support. It is $5 at the, the gate to get in. In sports action last evening, the baseball and softball teams both faced off against Susquehanna. The baseball team would host the Blackhawks at Ralph Lehman Memorial Field. Mason Free would pitch a complete game allowing just four hits and only one earned run while striking out five but it wouldn't be enough as the Upper Dolphin would manage just two hits and Susquehanna would come away with a two to one victory. The loss drops the team's record to four wins and nine losses. They will be back in action tomorrow when they host Halifax. The Lady Trojan softball team headed to Duncannon for a key matchup with the Lady Blackhawks. Susquehanna would take an early one to zero lead after the first inning, but the Lady Trojans would score five unanswered runs to earn a five to one win. Matt and Grove pitched seven complete innings, allowing just three hits and earning nine strikeouts. Jordan Miller would lead the way at the plate with three hits, one run scored, and a double. The win gives UDA a one-half game lead over Susquehanna in the Eastern Division standing of the TVAA. The team is back in action tomorrow when they host Halifax. The track team hosted the undefeated Greenwood Wildcats last evening. On the boys' side, Greenwood defeated Millersburg 95-55. to Peyton Wenzel took first place in the shoot put in the loss. On the girls' side, Greenwood would defeat Millersburg 92-58. to Ava Motter would win the 200-meter and Regan Wenzel would win the discus and javelin events in the loss. For lunch on Thursday, we will be having ham and cheese hoagie, 
cheese pizza, garden salad, chicken sandwich, lasagna roll-ups, seasoned steamed carrots, assorted fresh vegetables, assorted fruit, and low-fat milk. That's a wrap for TNN. Thank you for tuning in today. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and remember, in, in the, the Trojan, Trojan Nation, Nation, we are stronger together. together.